Let's talk strategy. Yes, the Democratic Party. The shining beacon of progress that now has to convince America that Latinx is a real word, that 75 genders are totally manageable, and that brunch is a political statement. The question is, how do we move forward? Simple, by doubling down? No, not on policies or outreach. That's old news. We're doubling down on condescension, sanctimony, and an unwavering belief that voters are stupid. First order of business, language. The term Latin, or is it Latine now, is the hill we've chosen to die on. Never mind that actual Spanish-speaking people despise it. Forget that it sounds like a discount superhero from a Mexican telenovela. No. We must evangelize this linguistic imperialism until every abuelita at a taco stand is waving a rainbow flag and asking, do you mean Latinx con queso? And let's not forget, it's not just about words. It's about intent. For instance, you can't just say, good morning, everyone, anymore. That's too inclusive in the wrong way. Instead, you say, good morning, people of all genders, orientations, and breakfast preferences. It's clunky, sure, but it screams allyship, which is worth alienating half the country, right? Next up, celebrities. Why adjust policies when you can roll out Beyonce or John Legend to cry on cue about how Republicans are literally Voldemort? Let's have Rachel Maddow anchor the nightly news, Oprah host the debates, and the Obamas scold everyone like disappointed parents. Maybe we can have Jimmy Kimmel perform a 10-minute interpretive dance about climate change at the DNC. People love that. Speaking of love, let's address abortion. You know what works? Glamorizing it. Let's get testimonials from women who've had them and say their lives are better. Now, better career, better vacations, and the freedom to laugh at all those babies they didn't have. That'll really bring in the suburban moms. And for heaven's sake, don't forget the cornerstone of every Democratic campaign. Call your opponents racists, Nazis, and misogynists. Then, when the voters who just wanted lower gas prices say, hey, wait, that's not fair, you double down. No, you're actually racist and uneducated. It's foolproof. Now let's talk mascots. The donkey is too subtle. Let's upgrade to a steaming pile of compost to represent the moral superiority we pretend to have. Or better yet, a mirror. Because if there's one thing we want voters to know, it's that we're the smart ones. That's it. We read books. We drink oat milk. We've seen Hamilton. Finally, we need more slogans. Let's workshop something bold like, you're wrong not to like us, or it's not us, it's you. We could even lean into our elitism with the Democratic Party. We know better. There you have it. The winning strategy is to alienate, insult, and talk louder. Remember, if something doesn't work, the answer is always to do it harder, longer, and with more celebrities. Trust me, the voters will come around, or they won't. Either way, we'll still feel morally superior, which, let's be honest, is the real goal.